I'm your host, Melena Scantlin, and I've tracked down the experts to get your fitness questions answered, take control of your life, and get the body you've always wanted. Coming up, helpful info you don't want to miss from You Asked For It. This question is from Drum Guy Todd. He wants to increase his muscle mass in his chest and arms while also decreasing his overall body fat. His question is, can you gain muscle while burning fat at the same time? Ooh, now this is an interesting question because we're told if we want to increase muscle mass that we have to eat a lot of calories, but then calories also can make us fat. So you want to break this down for us? It's a pretty interesting topic. It's definitely a question that I get a lot from mm -hmm. my clients, especially my online viewers. And there is a fine line. I mean, you can gain muscle while losing bits of body fat, but mm -hmm. it's a very slow process. For someone like him, if he's doing muscle gain routines, I mean, first of all, I'd recommend that you don't just try to, you know, pump up your arms and right. your chest. You want to work everything equally. But what he can do is try to do lean gains. And the basis behind that is try to stay within a window of 250 to 500 extra calories a day. And then kind of monitor your progress, jump on the scale, use the mirror, see how you look. But you can make lean gains. Like myself, I've gained some weight over the last couple months. Haven't put on that much body fat because I really dial in my meal plan. I keep track of my protein, carbs, and fat each day, and I'm making sure that my surplus isn't that big. Okay. You know, just because you want to gain weight doesn't mean you have to eat 10,000 calories a day. You can be eating normally, say 3,200, go up as high as 3,700. But it's a process that is different for everyone, and you really need to make sure that you're tracking your own progress. Because if you don't, then there's no really way, no way to know because everyone's different. <laughs> sent us a question regarding her arms which she wants to tighten and tone now she wants to know if body weight movements are as effective as using free weights or other gym equipment Sarah there's a lot of people out there who may not have access to these types of equipment pieces or even a gym so yeah what, what's your advice so well to be honest that's one of the main reasons why I started my YouTube channel was because I knew a lot of people didn't have access to the gym and they didn't know what to do and I figured hey I'm gonna show everybody at home that they can get in a great workout while just being right there and without leaving so you can definitely get in an amazing workout you are gonna get to a point where you're gonna need some equipment but there is equipment that is inexpensive and is small you can fit it in the comfort of your own home and it's not gonna become some major piece of decoration um, but but I love using body weight exercises. Sometimes when I go to the gym, I even just use my body weight. Um, it's a great way to tone up your body um, if you've lost the fat. Um, but yeah, I love using my body weight for a lot of exercises. And if people don't have access to a gym, not a problem. You can still get in a good workout. Earlier, she was kind enough to show us some movements that focus on the arms. I was sweating. So if you want to see that, click through to watch Sarah and I tone our arms with some very creative exercises using our own body weight as resistance. I'm Elena Scantlin. We'll see you next time on You Asked For It.